Hello, welcome back to Ginny's. I'm Ginny, and today I'm going to show you how to make some chocolate biscuit cake baubles. So, I have just made these uh, round chocolate biscuit cake um, baubles on my channel. Uh, you'll see those there, I will link these underneath. And these are absolutely fabulous and an alternative to the chocolate orange to go in the fondant figures. So, I I'm going to do some fondant figures with these, so keep your eye out for those. Subscribe so that you see when they come up, you'll get notified immediately. And then I'm going to show you now how you make this bauble. Okay, right. To do this, I have used chocolate modelling paste, which I've made myself. And I made this from the Calabute chocolate. And I've just mixed it with a little bit of sugar paste, so I do a 3 to 1 ratio. So I am going to do a tutorial there for how to make the modelling paste and keep your eye out for that. You will be notified if you've subscribed and you'll be able to see exactly how I made this paste. So let's colour this. I'm going to use a red to make it look the same as this one. And I also need to just take off a little bit because we have to do the ball ball for the top. So straight in. Let's get some red in there and mix it in. Okay, pop down some corn flour and then swirl it around so that it's just dusting. Bring this into as much of a ball as you can and then we're going to roll it out. The thickness of this is we do need a bit of thickness to it, so we don't want to go too thin. Okay, that's perfect. So we're around about two or three millimetres there. Okay, we're going to take our chocolate, I'm going to pop it into the middle, and then we're going to take one side up and just stick. Then the opposite side and put it over the top and just push. We're going to do the same here. We're going to want to bring it to a point and bring this part in. So pop your finger up and bring it to a point. Do the very same the other side. So bring it into the middle and come right into the bottom and pinch up. Right into the bottom and pinch up and take those and just push them in to secure. Then you need a sharp knife and we're going to slice. So I'm going to push all this up here and then just cut away leaving enough there. Same again, come from the bottom, cut up and then just push those bits together. Do the same all the way around. Turn it upside down with your hand, create that round mark across the bottom, across the top I should say, and then continue to push these bits. Don't pull too much because you don't want to make it thin anywhere. Again, I'm going to cut down. Cut down. Okay. And then just fold it over so that it meets. It's a bit big. I'm going to cut that part off. So we're really just going around and tidying. So, and then just folding in. Now at the moment this looks a complete mess, but this is going to do it. So now with the, your hand, now the good thing with um, chocolate is that it does melt slightly. Just take that part off. So as you're going around, the heat from your hands is going to start melting all this into the right shape. 
So just keep going around. Squeeze in, take this part of your hand, look at the red on my hands. Should have worn gloves. And just push in. If there's bits that really stick up like this, so long as there's no biscuit showing, just take it off and push down. Just pushing down makes it stick. This is why I like to do this with the model in, the model in chocolate. Okay. So that bit's lifting. Just a little bit of the warmth from my finger. Don't push in too much because you'll push into the actual chocolate underneath and it'll break away. This is the most time consuming part. Now I have quite a big air pocket just there. So if you can see, if I bring it to the top there. So I'm just going to slice very small across the top just to let the air out and then come back in. Again, just pushing. There we go. Just roll it around and around. And the oils from your hand, see, it's just bringing it all together. shine back up on it. Brilliant. Okay, so find where you want your top and your bottom to be. So if you have got a little mark anywhere, try and use that as your top part. And then sit it down. Right, now we need to get some acetate scrapers. Okay, and then with these, you're just gonna come into the bottom part and come over. Bottom, come over, don't cut it on the bottom, just get it right into that bottom part and come up. Right in and up. And any bits, just use that to pull them together. We just do this and we just keep going around and this is going to make it the same size all the way around you just do the same thing and it is going to start gathering at the top don't worry and we just keep doing this for the moment top here just fold those bits in you can see the shape of it's already coming together just use your hand to push up those last parts and then I'm just using my hand there roll those in and it will seal back up just going to do it once more. And you can see the shape is completely there. So now across this top, we're just going to push these parts in so that they meet. And don't forget we've got the ball ball to put on there, so there's no worries with a little bit of a mark there.
There we go. And we've got an absolutely perfect ball. All the air we pulled out of it. There we go. Lovely. If you have caught any bits around the bottom, just come around and give it a wipe round. one there to the side and now we are going to concentrate on the top part here so just going to take a little bit away we sit down roll it around in your hands there we go and we're just going to cut that bit off roll it Make sure that it is all up in the same direction. There we go, and we're just going to let that part dry for the moment. Okay, I've wiped down because you just don't want the cornflour with everything with the ribbon. So I'm now going to take, I've got some number 30 wire here. just going to cut off two parts of this. There we go. Okay, so take your, your ribbon and one loop and another loop so that they're the same. There we go. Then right down from the bottom here, turn them like this. So you've got like a V, all right? Take some of your wire one bit at the bottom and one bit at the top and we're just going to scrunch those up together we can tidy it up afterwards just scrunch it up through the middle there we go now we give it a bit of tidy so we can pull this bit down and up. So all you've done is just bang the middle part together with some wire. And make sure that you're happy with the length of them. So there's my bow. Now we need to put the loop across the top. So again, to the bottom, make your loop, come to the bottom, twist, and come up to the top, lift it, and then just turn it once, and then you have a loop. And you can make that as big or as small as you like. I only want a small one. There we go. And then pop this up behind. It'd be really nice if you used a bit of gold for this one, um, or you could just colour this gold. You could cover it over in the luster dust, um, and that would just lift it a little bit more instead of white. 
So that's that done, and we're going to leave that there. Colour this. So I've got some cherry pie rainbow dust, which obviously says 100% edible. And we need to get some brushes. And I've got a mat there that I'm just going to pop down. So I'm going to tip out some of this. And then I've got my paintbrush, which I've said to you before, I love paintbrushes when it comes to uh, colouring with um, any of the luster dusts or a lot of them. I re really recommend getting some paintbrushes. So up and down, same action all the way around. shine you can go over it in just white or silver or gold so I'm going to use some gold I'm going to use a rose gold for this one because it's got that little bit of red tip out my rose gold which is my squire's kitchen We need to sort this one out. So I've got this tool here which I will link and put underneath in the comments box and see this the, the biggest part at the end I am just going to push in to make an indent. There we go and then leave a good space and push in again and pull down. I'm going to do this all the way around, leaving around about the same gap, push in at the top and then pull down. So it's really your choice on how you colour it. I'm going to do this one silver because I did the other one gold. So again, I've got the Squire's Kitchen in the gold, in the silver. Tip some out on the mat. Careful it doesn't go onto the other one. Move that onto there. Oops, move this one away. Better. Okay, all the way around with that. In the, each of those gaps there, just keep going until you're happy that it's completely covered. And then wipe around so that you can see what it looks like. Right, so these parts here, they do need to be a little bit more um, defined. So we need a different colour. Now I'm just going to come in above this just to make sure that these are straight. 
So we're going in, but we're using the different end this time. Excellent. And that looks perfect. But I do want to change the colour slightly on those. So I'm going to use a gold and I'm going to use the point stand out enough actually. Or it might. Let's try the metallic gold. I'm going to dip this into the metallic gold and push the slot in. Right. We just need that little bit of definition of a different colour. So we're just going up and down to push the colour off. And then back with your brush that you had before. And we'll just go around. And if you can see there, that's just defined those ridges. So it actually looks like shadows more, which is what we're looking for. Excellent. So we need to leave that there for the moment and um, wash our hands and come back. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to start trying to assemble. So I'm going to get a board. Okay, so I've got a little six inch board here. I'm going to lift this from the bottom and pop it on. Now you can just put some, um, a little bit of chocolate on the bottom and that will stick. So move these out of the way. We are now going to stick this on. So we're just going to pop this on the top and then push it down and it will naturally stick itself because we've not waited for that to dry. So there we go, there's that one on the top there. Now we need to make the loop that's going to secure all of the ribbon. So we're going to just go around with our hands and just make a sausage. And there we have our loop. So we need to take this pop it where you're happy then take your loop your hook and pop it over and push it down. so that the chocolate meets. Try not to push in too much with your fingers. There we go. Again, if you use a tiny little bit of melted chocolate, that is gonna stick that perfectly. dry you can use a brush just to brush off any of the glitter that's on there and there we go we have our shiny Christmas bauble completely made out of chocolate so chocolate on the inside bottling chocolate on the outside and I hope you've enjoyed it so 
let me know what you think don't forget to subscribe and you'll see all my new things that i'm going to do with these balls on the side there and i will see you very soon can't wait to see what you do with this thanks very much bye bye